Morning, Andrew McCaskill here from Career Jump. I hope you're doing really well. Um, wanted to dive on this morning to give you some advice if you've got multiple offers, multiple job offers hitting your inbox at the moment. Actually, quite a few people have. We're starting to see the market pick up, and like London buses, as I've said before, the more job offers you get, the more confident you get. Typically, the more people want to hire you. So, what if you do have to choose between jobs, right? I mean, Every decision from a career perspective feels big at the moment. So I want to give you a really simple framework to decide between job offers this morning. And it's called the five P's. And we've been using this for a couple of years in Career Jump. Um, so what you need to do is mark uh, each job offer against the five P's. So here's how it goes. It's a weighted scorecard. Um, the first mark is a mark out of 10. And it's a mark out of 10 for the product or service. So how interested in the actual product or service you are. Mark it out of 10 for both jobs or each job if there's more than two offers that you're looking at. The next stage is proximity. Mark that out of 15. So by proximity, we're talking about how much travel will be involved. How close is the opportunity to you? How flexible is it? Um, that's really important because commuting time typically leads to dissatisfaction and unhappiness. So mix that in there and mark it out of 15 for your job offers. Um, the next piece is out of 20 and that is package. So salary, benefits, bonus, the overall package. Mark that up for each job offer. It's an important factor, of course. It's not the factor, though. It's a middle factor in the five Ps. Um, the next stage is to look at the progression. So out of 25, mark progression um, for each job opportunity. So how far is it outside your comfort zone? What opportunity is there for you to develop in this new role? Mark that up. And then finally, the most important factor by a mile is person. And this is the person you would be reporting into. We will say pick a leader, not a job, because that individual has more impact on your fulfillment, your development, your job satisfaction than any other factor. So mark that out of 30. And then if you've marked, if you, if you work it back through and you've marked the product and service out of 10, you've marked proximity out of 15, you've marked package out of 20, you've marked progression out of 25 and the person for each job out of 30, you should have a score out of 100 for each role, and that should help guide you as to which one you take. Um, I hope many more of you find yourself with multiple offers this week and as we go into the next week. So keep at it and let's get to work. Good luck.